All right, cappuccino, here is a helper video to help you finish your tree table. So some of the triangles on your tree table you have not been provided with. So you need to measure them yourselves. So I did the hard part, which is measuring out the angles for you. It's really difficult to draw your own eight degree angle. So I used a computer program to help me generate an eight degree angle. So you can check this. If we use a protractor, you can see that it is eight degrees. Okay, so I've provided these with for you already, but you need to create the slope ratio. So we need a slope triangle. To have a slope triangle, we need to draw in our rise, and then we need to measure our rise and our run. So you can take anything that already has a pre-cut 90 degree angle, like a piece of cardstock, or you can use the bottom edge of your, your ruler. So I could go like, like this. I can put that on there and I can draw in my my height. Okay, so anything that already has a pre-made 90 degree angle is the easiest way to draw a right triangle. So you don't have to go at the end of this line. You can put it wherever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm putting my little card here on the bottom of my angle so that I can draw in a 90 degree angle. So there's my 90 degree angle. Now I want to measure my rise and my run, my change in y and my change in x. So I'm going to grab my ruler. And when I do the run here, I want to make sure I measure from the middle of this dot. These two lines here are connecting in the middle of that dot. So I'm going to put my zero at the middle of that dot. And then I'm going to measure over here. And it looks like I've got, this would be 70, 71, 72. It looks like I have 72 millimeters there. So this, I have 72 millimeters. And then I'm going to measure the rise. So I'm going to put my zero at one end. And it looks like that. Oh, look at that. It looks like it's exactly 10 millimeters, exactly one centimeter. So that would be 10 millimeters. So my slope is equal to rise over run. And then I take my calculator and change it to a decimal. So 10 divided by 72 gives me 0 0.13888888. So that I'm going to round off to 0 0.14. That will round off to 0 0.14. All right, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to, just to check my work, I'm going to make another slope triangle. So I could make it farther this way, or I could extend this line, make it bigger. I actually think that the bigger the slope rate, the slope triangle is, the longer you make it side lengths, the more precise measurement you're going to be able to take. So I'm going to take this out here, and then I'm going to drop in my height, my rise, using my card stock here, my note card. Oops. Okay, whatever you have that has a pre-cut right angle, you can use that to help you make your right angle. And now I'm going to measure that. So again, I'm going to measure from the center of my dot out to here. And it looks like I have, that would be 110, 111, 112. So this looks like I have 112 from here over to here. And then I'm going to measure my height. So I'll put my zero there. So that would be 10, 15, 16, 16 or 17. Maybe I can say 16.5. How about that? So we'll say 16.5 millimeters. So I wasn't sure if I was reading 16 or 17 there. All right, so now I'm going to do my slope again. It's going to be rise over the run. And let's see what I get. So I'll put that into my calculator. I have 16.5 millimeters divided by 112 millimeters. And I got 1.47. Ooh, that goes to 1, 0.15. Ooh, I was hoping it would be 0 0.14, but that's 0 0.15. Those aren't too far off. I think I'll do it one more time just to see if I get closer to this or if I get closer to this. So I'm going to do it one more time. And remember, you're in a group of three, so each one of you could be doing one of these 
you know, make sure you, you put your right angle somewhere different and each of you measure and then compare your answers, see how they look. Okay, so I'm gonna drop in my right angle again. See, I got that started, but it doesn't make a very good ruler. So drop in my right angle, measure my rise and my run. So I'll measure my run in the middle of that point A up to here. That looks like, I would say about 99, 9.9 .9 or 99. So now I have 99 millimeters for my, my run and my rise. Measure that. It looks like it's 14 or 1.4, 14 millimeters. This one is 14. Now let's check that one. So I have 14 as my rise over my run, I said was 99. So let's see what that gives me. 14 divided by 99. And I got 0 0.14. Okay, so I'm going with 0 0.14. So when I fill this in on my trig table, this guy right here for eight degrees, when I fill it in for eight degrees, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with a 0 0.14. So I got that twice. And then this one was a little bit bigger. So I think I would go with the 0 0.14. Okay, and whichever fraction doesn't really matter. Um, what's more important is the, the decimal, that we'll be finding that out how we use the decimal more in the future. Okay, so you can write 10 over 72 or 14 over 99, or if you measured it yourself, whatever measurements you got, and then make sure the decimal equivalent. Okay, so that goes here, draw a picture, of your triangle and write your fraction and your decimal. All right, so you're gonna to continue to do that. Remember, there are three people in your group. So everybody should draw a slightly different slope triangle, measure them, and then compare your slopes. You'll probably end up seeing that you get something like this. I did it three times and I got slightly different answers because it's hard to measure these really accurately. All right, so go ahead, work on this. Good luck and see you when it's done.